thousands auditioned. You move like a chef, and clearly, you cook like a chef. Oh! But only the best survived. It's a bad dish. You know it, I know it. That has to be the most dis- Jack, can anybody screen this? Or, or mod, you don't have to though. I'm only gonna chat, if, if there's anything bad, just, just tell me. I, I chose this guy though. You don't have five bucks, and I, I think I'm, I, I, I recognize his name in chat. Let me, this is in chat. User. Um. So for 26 months, says it's a partial block. It said Pepe laughed. Disgusting soup I've ever tasted. Chef Farouk seems like a fairy tale. Once upon a time starts right now. Now, the final 14 amateur cooks face the toughest culinary challenges of their lives. Ow! Every challenge will get tougher. Who's sourcing the plates? Put it on with some finesse. You still got food in the oven. The phenomenon. Dream, and I'm not letting anybody stand in my way. Oh, we got Whitney. We got Farouk. America's first master chef. Who gives up their life as a doctor? I walked away from the and Sharon. salary and finance for this opportunity. I had to leave behind my three beautiful we babies. We got Jenna. They'll have to face three of the toughest figures in the culinary world. I'm Graham Elliott from Chicago. At 27, I became America's youngest four-star chef. Believe me, I know a thing or two about cooking and eating. Hold on, hold on. This is what, look at this before next episode. Hold on. MasterChef UK versus US. MasterChef UK. Twenty-nine fucking months and still no welcome to the jungle. Satch. Welcome if you clean to the vacuum, Master Chef. Do you kitchen? become a vacuum cleaner? You are our first group of contestants in this year's competition. season of MasterChef! Jesus, dude. My name is Joe Bastianich. I own 20 of America's best restaurants wow, and 20? three award-winning Italian wineries. And of course, there's me, Gordon Ramsay. I have 28 restaurants worldwide and no one knows more about food than I do. You guys pulled it off. Well done. Thank you, Chef. One of these amateur cooks will take home two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. A cook. I don't want fast food though. Ten, I'm just gonna put it out there. In. Nine and become the eight, first American seven, to go from home six, cook. Five. Eight, give me towel. Out, three. Two, to master chef. One and stop. Chat. Fourteen of the best amateur cooks in the country are about to discover the difference between cooking at home and competing on the highest culinary stage. As they enter the MasterChef kitchen for the very first That's time. Fine. Walking into Master. Is he gonna keep lagging or not? Let's go! Clearly, there's an apron behind each station with your names on it. When I get to my station, XQC I'm thinking to myself, yeah. wow, this is nuts. I've arrived. I'm in my element. You've got the state-of-the-art kitchen, a Viking range. But let's be honest, it's oh, not the tools no. that are going to make America's first ever master chef. It's how you use them. Now, we have an amazing test. In front of you all is the mystery box. That's a cool In concept. This challenge, the contestants have to prepare. Yeah, I think it's because it has yeah. low views and it's being watched a lot. I think that's a problem now with it. See, it's, la it's lagging and shit. See that? 
tests as many or as few ingredients as they wish, but they must present it to the judges in just no. 45 minutes. Now, we'll select three stunning dishes. Out of those three dishes, we'll nominate one winning dish. Now, the person with the best dish out of those three will get to pick the main ingredient okay. in our next test yeah, later today. says, yeah, it's not cashed on their CDN. Each chunk request goes to origin. I don't know what the fuck that means, Thanks. but I guess that's why it's lagging. Now, here's the bad news. All of you, listen, make this count, because eliminations are just around the corner. <sighs> oh. On the count of three, lift those boxes. One. Two. Nice. Now, you have a double cut pork chop. Wonderful bunch of flat leaf parsley, cabbage, the most amazing chipata bread, a delicious Granny Smith apple, beautiful lemon, beautiful vine tomatoes. And then alongside that, you have a little bottle of cognac. And just for that sweet tooth, cinnamon and chocolate. You've all got 45 minutes. 14 ingredients, use as many or as Yeah, chat, it's because you guys, people, too many people are watching it now. That sucks. Would you want to go to the other one that would no, would no lag it? Honestly, down the bottle of cognac, you wouldn't, you wouldn't use eat the bread to fill your stomach and cook some bullshit. Then go home. Chocolate the devil of the box. Yeah, it'll, yeah. it'll tempt you, take you down yeah. the wrong path. Yeah, right. Easy. I'm making uh, sort of a rustic kind of pork clear. chop no uh, that we're going to uh, sear off and... Uh... Yeah, let's, let's watch the other one. Yo, whoever uploaded this, dude, uh, or, or, or whoever had the better quality, I'm sorry, dude. Listen, I really like your link. Just these people, too many people clicked on it. This is just kind of how it is. If it's, right, it's going to keep lagging. It's going to keep lagging. If there's one ingredient that you wouldn't use in there, what would it be? It would be the chocolate. The chocolate for sure. The chocolate is the devil of the box. Yeah. It'll, it'll tempt you, take you down yeah. the wrong path. Yeah, right. I'm making a, sort of a rustic kind of pork chop uh, that we're going to uh, sear off and... Uh... A cognac flambe. Not even what we're looking at now. side of cabbage slaw and tomato concasse. My biggest concern, I think, though, is overcooking a pork. I'm making a bread pudding, a 21st century bread pudding. A 21st century bread pudding? Yeah. So you're doing a chocolate bread pudding? Yes, yes I am. OK. And I'm excited because it's really coming out of here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a sauce to go with it. Right. The secret behind a really good chocolate bread pudding pudding is the texture in the side, not allowing it to become too dry. That's right. Chat, nice bread pudding doesn't have bread, right? It has, like, yes. cake, right? amazing list of ingredients yeah. there what would you do i think the first thing i do is kind of break look how laggy it is look how laggy it is I'm going to top it with oh, some candied I lemon peel and i'm thinking of making a caramel if i have time just okay. a little drizzle a little bit of that on okay. top great you know what chocolate mousse is uh, is one of my favorites so looking forward to trying it <laughs> When I discovered cooking, I found that there is something that I do have a passion for. The ultimate goal is to not feel like I'm going to work every day, to feel like I'm doing what I want to do. I don't want to boost your confidence here irrationally, but those look like pretty good pork chops. I've never cooked this before, and uh -huh. so I really wanted to try to Where's, make sure that... You've never oh, cooked a pork chop before? Pork, pork chops are very dry, are they not? The, I don't, want, I don't, don't like pork chops at all. Come on, I don't do no. pork. Well, why did you go with that? Why didn't you do something that you know? Because Stick I really want easier. to challenge myself, and that's what this whole competition is about. Is using too much chewing to do. Don't like do it. Do it with anything that you're given. Okay, first off, my scariest dish, uh, Jenna's. She's making a sandwich. We do a sandwich with leftover pork. Yeah, I heard her say that she's doing a ham sandwich. There's no ham anywhere in there. Just because it's right. pork, it's not ham. No, no, uh, nothing at all. Yeah, nothing. I have to say, Whitney, for having never cooked a pork chop, has some excellent technique, and the pork chops look really good. Yeah, Is that David blood? Miller. I mean, he's looking calm, composed. Yes. Uh, he's got more confident and less arrogant. Right. And what yeah. he's done is caramelizing these apples in with the pork. He's making right. it like. Dude, fuck off. I'm done with this. 
I'm done with this. How many fucking people watch this? How many people click this? Gorgeous. Excellent technique and the pork chops look really good. Yeah. Too many of the David fucking Miller. answer I mean, he's to this. He's calm, composed. Yes. He's got more confident and less arrogant. Right. And what yeah. he's done is caramelize these apples in with the pork. He's making right. a like. 907. Sorry, chat. Sorry for the disturbance. the cabbage. Clever. I don't give a shit. She is working on a chocolate mousse. And then you've got uh, Avis making a I'm bread pudding. So I'm really okay. interested in people that decided to Wonders leave it. the savory world yeah. and start working on some sweets. Yeah. Hopefully, I'm, well, I'm guys, remembering my recipe right. Hopefully, I'm, I'm remembering my recipe right. All right, guys. Ten minutes. I've never been no. classically trained. This, this, this is just raw talent. All right, guys, 10 minutes. This is I've my dream. This is something I've always wanted to do, and I'm not letting anybody stand in the this is, this is just raw talent. This is my dream. This is something I've always wanted to do, and I'm not letting anybody stand in my way. Whatever my hands touch will win me this competition. I will be the first master chef in the United States. That's not happening. She barely got through all the rounds. I she needed an excuse for every fucking round. She's room, not going anywhere. Super passionate like I am and super intense and ready to go. It elevates everybody's game, you know? Last two minutes. The judges will only taste the three most enticing dishes. So these final seconds of plating and presentation are crucial. 10, 9, 8, Downloaded. 7, I don't know how though. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and I wouldn't stop. do that. Good job, good job. This is fine, I don't give a shit. This In is fine. We won it before. All I did was hold them all, that's fine. Just three dishes. The winner of this challenge will Why have a huge advantage going into the next round. Pepega. The first dish that we're gonna taste. You're kidding, right? Shit, bro, 13. That is in the top three. And you please blow me a pizza kiss. Sheena. A cognac flavored chocolate mousse. The pork chop is obviously the most important thing in the box. It's the protein. So I kind of knew that everyone else was going to use it, and I was taking a huge risk by deciding not to. Why a dessert? I thought that you'd be eating a lot of pork, and you might want to take a little break from the saltiness with a little bit of sweet. A cognac-flavored chocolate mousse finished with candied lemon peel. Could be good. A mousse? Sure, man. Texture is amazing. Smooth, creamy, sumptuous, but more importantly, incredibly daring. And this time, it worked. Good job. Thank you. Don't do it. You followed the devil in the box, except you, you. achieved redemption. But this is a dish that I would be proud and happy to charge $10 for. Congratulations. Oh, thank you, babe. So the yeah. second contestant, who's going to be one of our top three, utilized not just the pork, but kept it in its natural state as the double pork chop. Guys, guys, he would pay 10 bucks for a chat, but in one of his restaurants, he would charge 35 bucks for it. It is what it is. And that person is... Jake. It was a job, but I genuinely don't know. Good job. I can't watch on Hulu, but can Some watch you gotta wake up and do something exciting that you're really passionate about. Make no mistake, I am here to become uh, a chef. You get, you get the wrong kind of big attention. The master chef. chef. Thanks, Grim. Way to go, boss. Thank, Thank you. You're gonna step on the wrong toes if you start watching Netflix this, and Hulu on stream. It it's really, really bad. Gorgeous. The bones are nice and clean. It's beautifully cooked. You can just tell by, by feeling it with a touch. Hey, man, love your content. Can you say welcome to the weird champ? Then slam the desk hard and pretend to be bored at me? Please. A little more RP. Please. 
come on menu you owe me for all the donos you scam. The cabbage almost has Save a melting texture to content. it. You know, it's got a great consistency. There's Watch some good flavor one. there. It is hard really a uh, hard thing to do with 45 minutes not to want to butterfly that pork. I'm watch this, Very huh? risky. I mean, it's one of the first things that you have to get going right away. You did it really well. Thank you. Okay. Sure. There's something really nice about the way you work. I expect you to be clumsy. You build office blocks. You're on construction sites, for God's sake. So you walk around a kitchen with great finesse. It's like watching a, a swan glide across a pond. It's unique. A big swan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. It's seasoned beautifully. Thank you. Yeah, my big question, is it good enough to win today's challenge? However, job well done. Thank you. Thank you. The last dish was a dish that was minimalistic. Put, instead of three or four or five different ingredients on the plate, only two elements were in this plate. My dish, I think, as a whole, really plays to what these guys are looking for. It's better than a one in five chance that I'm gonna be in the top three. But I think that you are onto something. Whitney, congratulations. Please bring it up. Flavor-wise, yes, I knew I was spot What is this editing? I don't know what's I'm going on. I'm definitely ready and I'm here to prove to them that, you know, I could do this. I could be Master Chef. Who the fuck's going where and who is this just who's? You've never cooked pork before, is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Can Whitney's first ever pork dish impress a MasterChef judge? You've nailed it. It's, it's a gorgeous, moist pink color inside. The slaw is more of a southern style where it's a little sweeter. And they just balance so well that this dish is something I'd love to serve in a restaurant. Thank you. Okay. There's not a lot on this plate, so if you're going to put two or three things on there, it has to be absolutely on the money. No. It's cooked perfectly. Oh. There are chefs that spend years trying to get a natural feel. So are you instinctive or are you just a lucky young girl? That's what I cannot determine right now. I know I'm not just lucky because I cook all the time. And so I definitely know I have what it takes. Do you go for the no, mustard Do you go for the finesse? Do you go for the sweet tooth? It's, it's a tough call. OK. And now, from 14 dishes, we've got these three stunning dishes. Are we going for a sweet tooth with a chocolate mousse? Are we going Sweet for the tooth for sure. charm, playing to your strengths, Sweet tooth wins this. building an amazing dish, or are we going for something that you would imagine that would fit comfortably in any restaurant outside of this room? And the winning dish, congratulations. We've narrowed it down to three stunning dishes was elegant. I'm feeling amazing dish. I want to win every challenge, every time we step up and compete against each other. Or are we going for something that would fit comfortably in any restaurant? In my mind, there was no way we Not Whitney. Win. No. no. Gina, Whitney, Jake, congratulations. Gina. Whitney, well Fuck done. off. Good job. Oh, my God. I won this challenge. This means the world. I was speechless. Right now, I think everybody's kind of looking at her like, A cool, Watch out. daring dessert Watch out. made Whitney's from the, the secret ingredient. weaknesses is that she's young, she has Or the main ingredient cooked normally. Her own Fuck down, off. And I think that's going to hurt her in the end. So congratulations, Whitney. Not only are you going to pick the ingredient for the next challenge, you are going to have the luxury of spending five minutes by yourself in the pantry. Everybody else gets half that time, and you're gonna be in there as the entire group. This next challenge, there will be an elimination at stake. Whitney, let's go. Let's go. 
Whitney now has a huge advantage as she gets to pick the main ingredient that everybody else must cook with. Just what down she the... cannot control is the theme of the challenge. That is in the hands of the judges. The most amazing herbs, the most amazing vegetables. Once she selected her main ingredient, Whitney will have five minutes alone in the Master Chef pantry. The remaining contestants will only have half that time. The theme of today's invention test: Chinese. Ever cooked Chinese food before? No. Growing up. Oh, what, what would I make it? Chinese? I don't make Chinese. I mean, I don't even really know what ingredients, what oils to use. So I was General clearly towel. like lost. We have three stunning ingredients. The first ingredient is the most amazing Chinese mushrooms, from shiitake to oyster, enoki. They are phenomenal. Let's see what's under number two. Mushroom chicken with with a little bit of fried rice and they're sweet, they're sour, they're delicious, delicious. delicious and a chow product. mein. The last ingredient is duck. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Or like I haven't even had a Chinese dish that had duck in it, so it definitely threw me for a loop. Bear in mind, if you select one ingredient, everybody else follows. Mm -hmm. So are you going to be cooking to your strengths, mm -hmm. or are you going to be cooking to their weaknesses? Mm -hmm. you got to start thinking smart, playing strategic. They're all going to just do orange chicken. It's just so simple. I'm going to go with... Done. OK. Oh, boy. Oh, orange duck, sorry. The main ingredient... Same thing. That Whitney's chosen. A chicken is a duck is. Just, that goes into water. Mandarin oranges. Yes! Woo! Oh, what? Right. Chill Mandarin out. Mandarin oranges. The theme is Chinese. Everything you pick up and put in that basket, think Chinese through and through. I was very excited. I know I have an advantage over the other contestants who probably had only like fast food Chinese. The extent of my knowledge of Chinese food is like bell peppers and onions, soy sauce. Yeah, I find out it's Chinese, and I'm actually excited. I'm happy. The duck is I'm like really leaner, happy. tougher, the problem is, like a water I chicken. Don't know how to make the perfect Chinese dish? Two and a half minutes starts from now. Off you go. With Chinese cuisine as the theme of this invention test, many contestants find themselves in foreign territory. I am totally out of my element. I don't even eat Chinese food that often, but I'm kind of excited about that because it's a chance for me to try out some new ingredients, take some risks, what? and kind of step out of my comfort zone. Is it not leaner? Now, it's really, seriously, push it to the extreme. The challenge is all about Chinese. I want to see these across Shit, the you're dish. you're right, you're right. I'm sorry, you're right. You've got you're right. one hour. No? Okay, I'm not sorry for anything. Starting from now, off you go. Get in the Chinese ball, baby, come on. There is going to be elimination on the back of this dish. Oh, my God. Got it. A lot of sizzle, Jenna. What's going on? Uh, Asian orange stir fry. Chicken breast with uh, eggplant, bok choy, and mandarin oranges. Um, I'm going to do a kind of a, a ginger orange chicken in a hoisin sauce. Um, I'm going to do that with some Chinese vegetables, and I'm going to put that over a little vermicelli noodle. Uh, survival is the key. I mean, right now, I'm focused on just not having the worst dish. I've decided to cook a Mandarin Chinese salad. Looking around, so I see that boring. everyone is sort of doing a the exact salad, same dude. sort of cliche stir fry with some mandarin oranges on top, and I'm feeling kind of good about my rest. There's no confidence. Nobody, no, is, nobody is in there saying no. this dish no. is going to rule. This is incredible. No. They're saying I hope it's not in the bottom three. A the, Chinese the salad that I surveyed is just one of survival. I don't think anyone is using this challenge really yeah. as an opportunity to rise to the top or yeah. try to win. Well, that smells right. That's good. It'd be interesting to see with the people who are not familiar with this cuisine yeah. how they will interpret it. Let's go. Uh, Whitney, what are you cooking? I'm cooking a mandarin chicken and a vegetable stir fry. Have a look around. Yeah, in front and behind, everyone's cooking mandarin orange because you chose that. You put everyone on the back foot with these mandarin oranges, yeah? Are you feeling confident this stage? Are you going to win this one? Uh, I'm not feeling as confident as I was in the last challenge. 
got some star anise, some cloves, some fennel. Why do they set themselves up to have an excuse and they fail? It's all about like, the sauce. It, it, it the sauce makes you look weaker. Right, Mike, what are you doing? We've got Tim Fall underneath the chicken. Yeah, just it's just to kind of lift up, lift up the breast, just to get the skin side touching the, the oil a little bit. Now, I've never done it, but I'm gonna try it out, Chef. Yeah, why would you want to try it out on a day like today in amongst this kind of competition? Well, it's about, about getting better, and I don't want to yeah. just do the same old thing. So, so it's to get the skin. Yeah, just just getting the skin without having all that weight on there, and then of course I'll take it off later and then finish it up. How are you incorporating the mandarin oranges across this dish? I'm gonna make a sauce basically mm -hmm. uh, from it. Okay. And have it okay, that's over, smart. Over it all. Right, Slim. A little orange yeah. sauce. Yeah. I am doing Chinese herb boiled chicken with um, some ginger anise. Yeah. So you poaching the chicken in the broth? Yes. Farouk, you got a lot of stuff going on here. Do you feel confident? I, I'm, I'm starting to lose confidence a little bit because things aren't coming together the way I wanted to. We know people are going to be eliminated with this challenge. So yes, yes, yes. It's got to be Chinese. Well, a nice be delicious. orange base, and most then you place the chicken in the done. oven. This is my carrots. I'm, I'm, I'm going to uh, go ahead on and just, you know, cook my... Boiled carrots. Doesn't no. sound very Chinese. No, I'm gonna take and stir fry my carrots. Stir fry and the I carrots. don't want them to be too hard, so I want to make sure they're the right texture. Oh, she's gonna pre-boil them hey. to stir fry them. Ooh, okay. Is that common? Sharon had some heat in his dish. Huh? That was yeah. the only one that I really slim. tasted. It has a nice slim has fragrance. Very, yeah. very yeah. good. Yeah. Slim, slim mm -hmm. smells like you stepped into yeah. an Asian yeah. household. Yeah. Yeah. Close your eyes and wow, yeah. great vapor. The weak ones for me so far, Adis looks like she's panicking and it shows in terms of what she's putting together. Yes. Big China trouble in Little China. Mmm, wonderful. Whitney's disintegration. The sound of it, I of heard it. They put a the gong. doesn't look um. that comprehensive. It doesn't strike me as Chinese. And this was her competition. Right. She put everyone on the back foot, so right. she should be in front. Jenna's already plated with 20 minutes left to cook. That's crazy. So there's a lot going on here. There's some yep. people going home today. This is high stakes, so yeah. it'll be very interesting to see what happens. Not having the opportunity to choose the main ingredient, it's nerve-wracking because it's not in your hands and you don't know what to do. And it's even crazier, I think. It's, I think it's, I think, crazier than the first challenge because this is an elimination. Well, the girl's still cooking, but she's so it's not bad to... now. I want it so bad. This thing is it's real. This is not a game. Ten minutes left. Nobody can hide in this challenge because we're tasting everybody's dish. Taste, taste, taste. Once I got here, it was a dream come true. And the end. I'm not about to let that dream die. It's really heartbreaking to see somebody go home, but at the end of the day, this is a competition. And I need to see every single person go home and be the last man standing. I definitely don't feel like I have an advantage at this point. This dish could definitely be. Why is she throwing it? Home. Ten, nine, eight, seven. I love you, Whitney, but you better go down. It's my turn to shine. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Stand back. Roll I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I was gonna just look Chinese, but what the fuck do I know? One, and stop. Stand back from your station. Well done. Understand what's at stake here, guys, yeah? After we've tasted all these 14 dishes, we'll then select the bottom three, then the elimination, and start. Let's go, Whitney. What time is it? 27, 13? Stand back. Elimination and starts. Let's go, Whitney. Now refresh it. Three. Motherfucker. The elimination and starts. Let's go, Whitney. As the Let's winner see, of the knows, box, knows. Whitney's reward was to choose the main ingredient for this second challenge. With that huge advantage, Whitney is under added pressure to deliver. I was the one that got to have five minutes in the pantry, get to choose the main ingredient. To be in the bottom three would just be devastating to me. She will be in the bottom three. Sure. Uh, 
I guess this is a small portion entree. It's a mandarin orange chicken with stir-fried vegetables. The presentation is trash. What even is this? It's a little TV dinner stir fry with bits of chicken that the dog didn't want to eat. Thank you. See? I just hope that the person who picked the key ingredient of the day doesn't wind up in the bottom three. This girl had an advantage over me. She had extra time. She, she got to choose the ingredient. And I was just like, wow, she really doesn't know what she's doing right now. I'm totally better than Whitney at this point. OK, cool, Next man. up, Slim. Who the fuck are you? Shut the Let's fuck go. up. Explain the dish. This is um, Chinese spiced chicken with mandarin orange sauce. No, we can't. You've done this dish an injustice. Where's that delicious broth that you cooked the chicken in? It's still in the pot. Bring me a cup of broth now. Yes, chef. Quickly. <laughs> oh, man, I screwed up. <laughs> I went for the rice, and I screwed up. That looks tanky. In my kitchen, we would spend six to eight hours trying to get a stock like that. You've done it in one hour, and you didn't serve it. Are you crazy? Thank you, chefs. Slim and I are the same age. That doesn't and count. we're pretty much on the same playing field. I mean, I think my food is probably tastes better than hers, but that's just my opinion. Avis, let's go. Nice job. Yeah. Okay. Is that a dish to be proud of in the 21st century? Yes, it is. Orange chicken, and then underneath the chicken, we have some Chinese noodles under there. That, is, that does not look like orange chicken, I'm being honest. It looks like a sort of little chicken noodle vegetable dinner from a gas station. Now, I don't see the authenticity of a unique Chinese delicious dish. True, that it looks My Chinese Italian. Failed because I had a gut feeling that that dish had put me off the competition. Next up, Tony. Yes, so far, the dishes okay, have failed far, to impress. Can things get better from here? It's a wok fried chicken with some stir fried broccoli. I don't know, it doesn't look like a Chinese dish to me. It's like kid Dude, food. dude, who goes to fucking shell? Dude, for a, uh, dude, uh, orange chicken. It tastes like chicken nuggets soaked in orange juice. David. Spicy orange chicken with steamed vegetables and rice. Damn, Dude, this guy fucking- the plate to come out? Uh, I'm not disappointed with this the This guy way. snaps it. I'm not impressed visually. I think it looks almost kind of cartoonish. Chattel, please, let's go. Okay. Pan fried chicken and bok choy egg rolls. So I think that the colors is really kind of a little bit unappealing. And then you go, uh-oh. Knock, knock. Nobody's home. Empty. Right. Jenna, let's go. The big question I want to ask you is, Did you put together 20 minutes to go. Right. And food dies as it sits in the window, clearly. And that had better taste phenomenal. What the fuck is that? To put it up with 20 minutes to go. Basically an orange chicken with the snap peas with the orange infused rice. Do the thing, do the thing. This 
is the problem with this whole round. It's boring. It's, it's, it's not the spirit of what we came here to do. And if you don't want to deliver on the highest level, if you want to play the game and be safe, you're not going to win this thing. This is Master Chef. We're trying to find the best amateur chef in America. Who's here to do that? The challenges are not going to get easier. So get ready to bring it, bring it 100%. And if you're not, you should probably just leave your apron and check yourself out right now because this is getting frustrating. All the chicken is like white and just. Uh, this. It, it, it doesn't get color, man. I feel like whenever you do all chicken, it gets, it gets a, bunch of, a lot of color. With this whole round. It's boring. It's, it's, it's not the spirit of what we came here to do. And if you don't want to deliver on the highest level, if you want to play the game and be safe. Okay, we saw that already. Fish didn't impress. I was definitely questioning my ability in the kitchen. I have three beautiful children that are missing me, and uh, I miss them, and it's then go killing me to home, be away. Then go home, motherfucker. Then go Is home, dude. Is this what I want? Why am I here? Why am I doing this? Trash. Bring us something to at least make us feel good, please. Right. It's a mandarin orange glazed chicken with Chinese vegetables over the vermicelli egg noodles. Dude, dude, dude. three get at 23 means that, that, that she started hatching at like at 20 or, or 19. Jesus. Can Tracy change the mood in the kitchen? Jesus. I love the fact that the vegetables seem as important <clears throat> as the chicken. All those things seem like they're equal. That looks, that looks, that looks better. It's a good tasting dish. Thanks. Good, well Thanks. done. I'm really happy. Looks authentic. The vegetables are cooked with care and they taste delicious. Good job. If I hear Chef Ramsay say, well done, then to me, that, that's good. That was a great sign. Really good. So I was like, yes. Sure, let's go, please. Je Je maybe I'm wrong, but I think when I think about Chinese food, I, I, think, about, I think about color, a lot of seasoning, sauces, juice. It, 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 there's, there's a lot of uh, uh, color contrast. All the, the other ones all look bland and, then, and uh, shit. Fresh man. mandarin to go along with mm -hmm. the vegetables. So it's a very bold move to slice a chicken breast and then encrust it and then cook it again. It could be overcooked. Oh. Dangerous game, especially when you slice chicken so thinly. Yeah. This presentation, though, what the fuck? You've been daring. The chicken is cooked absolutely perfectly. Okay. Really good. Thank you. That's nowhere near the bottom three. That's heading towards the top three. Good job. Thank you. Really good job. Well done, man. OK, Sheena, let's go. In our last challenge, you were so courageous, you made the most amazing chocolate mousse. This time, have you played safe or have you played dangerous? Dangerous game. I think pretty bold. Pretty bold. Yes. Other times when I've walked up with my plate, what I've the been fuck is that? a little bit like timid, but this time I have taken some chances. It's what cold. the fuck is that? It's amazing. I wanted to do a salad, um, and then I finished it with a sauce that features a mandarin orange as well. So from here, visually, it looks like a fruit salad. Why is it all, all around the place? It looks like a fucking garage sale, dude. That could be put together domestically in five minutes. What were you doing for the other 55 minutes of the challenge? The sweetness of the leeks. You caramelize the leeks in sugar, because it's like they've been dipped in honey. Oh. Uh, the jury's out on this one. I, 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 for the first time in a long time, I'm shocked. Let's go. Farouk. Dog shit. After Sheena's bad dish, can Farouk's plate take him to safety? We have stuffed chicken stuffed with Chinese bamboo. vegetables, bok choy, I threw the mandarin orange in there, also with mandarin hoisin sauce. 
no shot this passes. Unless the sauce carries. Wow, you just turned my mouth into a, a desert. It's dry. <laughs> that is about as Chinese as my mum, and she's from Glasgow in Scotland. In my mind, it's definitely in the bottom three. After I heard you definitely in the bottom three, I mean, it's almost like somebody telling you you got 24 hours to live. Right, last but not least, the glass Mike, well. let's go. What I have here is a nutty orange chicken breast with um, peanuts and cashews, green wow. bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, and onion. So we've got crispy skin inside, a succulent, moist, hopefully, chicken. Okay. Promising. Ooh, that's a big ass string of chicken. Hopefully it's not dry. I have one huge problem with this dish. Oh. Jibate. I don't want to stop eating it. It's delicious. Oh, I knew it. Well done. Oh, I'm just, I'm like, oh my God, like, really? Really? <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, do you agree? Uh huh. Okay. We've deliberated, Joe, Graham, and myself, we did see some stunning dishes, but there was one dish across the four team that was head and shoulders above everybody else's. And that individual managed to take it hat. to an extraordinary level. I look at my plate and I'm more no, than I happy with it. I'm proud of it. There is no way that I'm that not going to win this though. I was standing there with my fingers crossed behind no, my you. back, like, pick me, pick me. And that not. person is... Hat guy. Mike, well done. <laughs> Come here. Hat guy it's voice is happening. It's just too sweet, too juicy, too, you know, succulent to be happening right now. She, right. He's bricked up. Uh. Time for the first elimination inside our kitchen. We're going to take the bottom three dishes. The first worst <laughs> dish of the Chinese challenge, Farouk. Let's go. I'm 43 years of age. I've been cooking for 25 of those years. I've never been to any Chinese restaurant with a pounded chicken breast, <laughs> stuffed, rolled, boiled, dried, and dumped on top of a plate. The second person up for elimination. Sheena. Although I appreciate the thought that went into what you tried to achieve, it was kind of like a salad gone bad. Third person. Joining Farouk and Sheena. The girl who's picked the ingredients. I one more person. I could just Whitney? see my name Whitney? being called. No, no, Whitney. Um, I was just praying, don't let what's me the name again? in the bottom three. Avis, please, step forward. There was a lack of integrity across the dish. Nothing authentic whatsoever. Gina. Right. The person leaving, Master Chef. Honestly, all of them. Is? Not right side, though. Farouk, he's done. Farouk has done it. In my head, I'm praying and I'm saying, God, please let me be given one more chance. Wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. Chai, who gives more content, or who, who, who do you think the producers think has more content possibilities? Farouk or uh, her, or Avis? Farouk? Farouk, he, he, I think he's, he, he's gonna cry on birds for content. Avis is gone, she, guys, she, she's gone. God, please. Let me be given one more chance. Avis. Yeah, she's out. I knew it. I'm sorry, my darling. Yeah, the peace time is done. Sorry. Inside Master Chef. Avis, you've got such heart and soul that you put into your food, Don't which stop. is inherent in cooking. Chat, chat. Please. The, the last card she had to play here at this time it was um, crying, screaming. I got three daughters, two kids, four brothers, and a dying mother. That's it. Boom. Stay with it. And then she could have made it. The path. This experience 
has been like none other. It's seasoned hugely, and I want more. My cooking dream is still alive. It's not dead. The dog, the dog this competition has ended for me, but it has ended my dream. Sheena, Farouk, here's the bad news. Oh, we're not done yet. There's now there's a fighter. One v one. One more of you will be leaving. Twist, twist, twist. The judges say, "Oh, we're gonna eliminate somebody else," and I'm like, "What?" Then the judges say they're cutting one more. That's when I knew I was toast. Guys, the girl did the moose, and I'm sure they're impressed by this cooking. We're but she's not as confident as Farouk, I don't think. Entirely on this last round. I was worried again. Extremely worried, actually. The next person. She's attractive. Leaving the MasterChef kitchen. Is. No. Nope. Yeah, I knew it. Please take off your apron and leave the MasterChef kitchen. I knew it. He, guys, he cried. He cried. Yes. Guys, guys, he pop. Look, 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 look. He, look. Even the MasterChef kitchen. He's about to lose. He's about to lose. Pop the ult. Look, he's crying. Look at him. Is. Look. He ulted. Did he? Sheena, please take off your apron and leave the MasterChef kitchen. What? What? You, young lady, Did you? are a shiny example to everybody else in this competition. Your chocolate mousse was outstanding. But keep Clutch. cooking, keep learning. You're a smart cookie, what? bright girl, and you'll go a long way. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Sheena. Thank Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think that it was the right decision to let me go so fast, especially on that challenge. Group hug? If I were able to stay, I would have done some really cool things. So getting class for streams? Or getting are boring, though. What? When I heard them call Sheena's name, I couldn't believe it. I probably should be going home right now. Farouk, you were so close to leaving MasterChef this evening because it was substandard. And there is something inside you that we all see. Now, continue taking the risks, but tread cautiously, because we're watching you like a hawk. It really struck a chord when Gordon said, we all see something in you. Oh, damn, yeah. This is definitely a wake-up call. I got so close to losing, and I don't ever want to be in that position again. Go. Okay. Damn! Dude, okay, guys, this is a this is a game show strat. Okay, I'm not kidding. This is a, it's actually a game show. It's a strat. I got okay. so close to. It's like building an economy. He's stacking content value, and if he does bad in the, in the next episodes, it doesn't matter because he's got this cushion Losing. of content built up, right? And, I don't and that is valuable for the producer. Easy, dude. Look at that slam. That's fucking content right there. With two more cooks out of the competition, the remaining 12 are about to be split into opposing teams. Fucking bang! Come on, guys, blue team, let's go! There must be 150 Marines yeah. in that queue. For a challenge on a scale they've never known. Oh my god. From the bottom of all of our hearts, we apologize. The team who loses will face an elimination taste test where one more contestant's dream of becoming America's first master chef will come to a bitter end.